Meta Control, a slice of software that also you can use for your 3D printer. But how to add a 3D printer to this slicer? How to import a model and slice it using this Meta Control slicer software? In this video, I'm going to show you all the things you need to know about this slicer software right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. We are going to the website of Meta Hackers hackers you click on it if you have never been to the site of matter hackers i think it's recommended to create an account that if you are using matter control that you can sign in with your account for the next time if you are going to use matter control that it is much more easier and much more fun with this slicer so to do that go to sign in new user so you fill in a username email password and re-enter the same password and then create your Meta Hackers account. We are going to two point zero for Windows 10, or you are going to download it for Mac OS. Click one of those links, and you are going to get a download. Click on Save. We click on the Execute. Yes, I accept agreement. Uh, yeah, I created desktop shortcut install. This is, uh, by the way, version 2.22. Next, we are going to install this and then launch Meta Control. Click on finish. As you know, I already said to create an account. In the right hand corner here, you see sign in that we are going to use in a little bit later stage. We have different options here for the setup Meta Hackers Meta Control. Well, set up new pulse, set up new printer or start a new design. In case of set up new pulse, that means their 3D printer. Just like the Prusa machines with Prusa slicer, everything is pre-set up. We are going to set up a brand new 3D printer or a printer that I have that I want to use for this program. We can also start designing. We click on set up new printer. And as you can see, unlike the previous version that I used, there are a lot of 3D printers already in there. I've got a reality machine. We have here the Ender 3, Ender 3 Max, the Ender 3 S1, Ender 3 V2. I also see the Ender 3, but not the Ender 3 Pro. So that means basically that both both printers are equally so we are going to select the ender 3 and we are going to click on next meta control will now attempt to auto detect your 3d printer unplug the usb cable from the printer if connected and press continue we unplug the printer usb cable from the computer if it is connected and then press continue continue now plug in the usb cable and turn the printer on plug in you know, there is power going from the USB cable to the printer. Now we are going to switch on the printer. Connection, success. Okay, we don't want to print every single time over USB. I rather would have an SD card, micro SD card, or a normal thumb drive in order to, you know, get prints being printed. Because if the computer for some reason is going to do an update and it's going to restart because the, the computer is in idle, then it is going to reboot the computer and your print is going to fail. After the printer is connected, you will get directly into this screen which is very nice i've got here the model but what we want to do first is going to do a little sign in i'm going to type in my email address and also my passwords while i was sending in like mentioned i already have meta control used in the past so every setting every uh, printer that i had is going to be imported from out of the cloud into meta control software on this computer select the printer to continue so it's going to ask me which one of the printers that i'm going to use since i have added this 3d printer as the correlity under three let's select that one and click on finish it is now connected to the correlity and the three the one that meta control automatically took from their standard settings so before we had a little astronaut as a model to 3d print let's take a micro sd card put it in the card reader put it in here so let's slice a model and put it on the sd card and see what is going to happen 
within meta control you have also standard models just like the astronauts so add to bad and then you have here several kind of things we are going to go deeper in this one in another video calibration models abs temperature tower a calibration box a calibration circle some other examples you can you know th start 3d printing this is of course not a model this one is oh serious fail uh, meant i was like why is this word like that fail uh, meant oh my gosh meta hackers that's a cool one we are going for the filament stl file if you want to have it in the middle click on the model so this is a 3d 3D uh, model view, the 3D layer view, and the 2D layer view. Linear view, repair. We have here a curve. We have here a scale. So you can scale the model. Scale, mirror, rotate, translate, expand. Here you go for your support, normal, and from that, generate. I think that this model is not going to be needed to be printed with supports. I mean, everything is designed that you don't need any supports. I'm going to remove the supports. I'll remove. Click on here. Clear bed. Save. Save as export. Arrange all parts. On the right hand side, normally you would see something like this. But here you have slice settings. Every setting that you would find in Cura or in Bruce Slicer or any other slicer. But in this case, you have here the general standard layer thickness is 0.2. And the fill density is standard on 30%. You have advanced spiral phase, so this is the phase mode and layers to pause can here also fill in. Then you have the adhesion, here you can select for skirt, raft or brim. You have here the support settings, here you can uh, generate supports and also filament type standard. My filament settings is um, at 210. Bed temperature, that uh, it's now material none. Let's uh, change it to PLA and now it's standard on 60. Color, I mean, I'm using the uh, Polymaker Polyterra, so that is a little bit teal kind of color. Let's change that this, okay? That fits what I want. You have also more settings. We are going to go for the simple one. So quality standard, but you can also go for a course, fine, new quality setting. You can even fine tune it more. Here you will find the controls. When your printer is connected with metal control, just like in my case, then you can go and do certain things. We are going to slice, loading G-code. I don't know why I don't see anything, but if I'm doing like this, you will see what happened. So this is fill admin. We are going to print, export, options, machine, export. We are going to go to our SD card. And we are going to hit save. Write in G-code. We are going to import another model we, that we are going to print. We are going to clear the bed. Uh, let's drag and drop a model into there. Let's go for Eastman. A model from Eastman that I really would like to print. It's a judge red it's going to be a big model let's import it right over here and uh, we are going to put it right in the middle this is a very big model i'm not going to to do this one this height let's scale it down a little bit so scale we are going to lock our portion let's go for percentage instead of 100 let's uh, make a 50 out of it and there we have a small judge dread not so impressive anymore he is just small and uh, we are going to slice this and we also, once it is sliced, we are going to print it. So we click on print and then we are going to put it on the SD card. As you can see, it is still slicing. So it is now sliced all the way to the top. It looks amazing. We click on print. We are going for the standard settings, create raft, create supports, advanced. You can also do here some other things if needed. Uh, we are going to export it. Uh, we are going to put it right where it's supposed to be. Export G-code, just strat. Save, exporting, just wait, writing G-code. It's really quick. That is done. We are going to click disconnect because we are going to print it off the micro SD card. Then we are going to put the micro SD card in the slot of the M3 and we are going to, uh, to start the print. If you are still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. If you didn't know that, now you know.
There are many ways to support this channel. One is liking or subscribing if you are not subscribed yet. You can also give one time a thanks to support this channel financially. There is something like a YouTube channel membership. You will, your name will be mentioned right over there. Or you know, support me on Patreon. Link is in the description of this video. I also do some gaming live streaming on twitch.tv slash Zachary's world. I play a lot of Minecraft. You can also check me out on Easy Zach YouTube channel. I will post almost every week a brand new video about games that I like to play. I'm not going to say anything about it, but you can guess already what I'm playing. Anyways, that is it for this video. I will see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye.